Today in the Boot Guy, we are looking at five socks from Farm to Feet, an American sock company. Now the five socks I got here from Farm to Feet, they're all American made. Every single part that goes into them is American. From the nylons, the spandex, all the way down to the wool, and the workers who are building the socks. Now when it comes to socks, the thing about socks is that nobody likes uncomfortable socks. And if you do like uncomfortable socks, well I guess this isn't going to be a review for you. But if you like really comfortable wool socks that actually fit and support the foot, Farm the Feet is one of those brands we need to start looking at because they make some really nice stuff. So I'm splitting these up into two categories. These are hiking socks, these are tactical socks. Both of these are excellent work socks, but we're gonna look at them in different categories because they do perform differently, they have different heights, and they actually hug the foot in a different way. So let's start with the hiking socks. So right off the bat, I have two boulders. One is a basic boulder hiking sock from Farm the Feet. The other one is a no-fly zone hiking sock from Far in the Fleet. We're gonna be talking about this one just a little bit more than this one because this one is built with a special yarn that is impregnated with a paramethrin, which is an excellent insecticide that you can add yourself to any outdoor product that you use. If you're not using paramethrin right now on your backpacks and stuff that you use for outdoor fishing, summertime photography, whatever you're doing, if you're an outdoors person, invest in a can of paramethrin and spray your gear down because it is some really excellent stuff. Because the last thing you want is an insect bite that leads to an infection. So if by spraying on some stuff on your gear is going to keep that away from you, Go for it. Now about the boulder no fly zone, like I said, the, the yarn that builds the sock is impregnated with this stuff and that is a beautiful step forward when it comes to hiking socks. Just like they coat all kinds of shirts and pants with it, by building a sock by something that's lower down to the ground where insects are gonna be more prone to attack, excellent choice. Now, we're gonna talk about these socks as the same thing. The basic boulder, I'm gonna use this as my example. Now, what makes a great sock? Well, basically the way it's built. This section that holds the arch is very important that it stays tight around the forefoot, especially in a hiking boot, because when you're walking all day and you're moving around, the last thing you wanna think about is your socks. Now, that philosophy, not just for hiking, apply that philosophy to work socks. This Boulder work sock is a great all season, four season work sock. Now, is it gonna keep you burning hot in the middle of winter? No, but, but this is the type of sock you can double up with a liner because it's wool. The liner's polypropylene. Wool is naturally warm, even when it's wet, and this would make a great top layer to any combo for the winter time. Now, when it comes to the summertime and it comes to just working outside, you think having wool socks on your feet is a bad idea? Wrong, try it you will be pleasantly surprised how wonderful having a wool sock in, whether it's your work boot, your casual boot, a Western boot, just having something like this that's a natural animal product on your foot that just takes the moisture away from your foot and reduces bacteria growth. Unlike cotton that holds all the moisture, these beautiful farm to feet boulder socks, they wick moisture away and they don't allow bacteria to grow rapidly. Now let's move on to the tactical socks. I'm gonna break this into two categories too because I feel that this one, the Coronado and the Kodiak, Coronado, Kodiak, these are pretty much the same sock in my book, just one is exceptionally warm and exceptionally beautiful as a winter sock and the other one is an excellent three season sock. Depending on where you work and depending on where you, if you are wearing these as tactical socks, where you're at, yeah, this too could be a four season sock, but definitely the Kodiak is a winter sock. And then there's the Fayetteville. This one is probably the most advanced sock I have ever had on my foot or felt or looked at when it comes to tactical socks. And we're gonna leave this guy for last because he's gonna get a lot of attention. Coronado, it's lightweight. It's got that beautiful section in the center the top section on the Coronado, extremely light cushion, heel and toe. You wanna to talk about a beautiful eight inch work boot sock, this is it. And it stretches. It's gonna go above the top of your nine and 10 inch tactical boots. It's gonna make it all the way up your leg and it's gonna stay in place. The way Farm the Feet build their collars is outstanding. The insides of the sock, the way they weave all these sections of the sock with all the different types of needles that they use in all this merino wool is beautiful. Now, temperature wise, okay, middle of a 110 degree day, 
probably not going to be the coolest sock they have on your foot, but it's still going to be a heck of a lot better than having on a cotton sock. Cotton socks just suck. Stay away from cotton. If you're wearing cotton socks now, do yourself a favor. Run out tomorrow and buy yourself, if not some farm to feet, just some wool socks and test out wool and see how it plays with your feet. You will be happy. Wool is the way to go when it comes to putting a sock inside a leather boot. Now, Kodiak. This baby, dead of winter, this is what you want on your feet. If it is below 40 degrees, you want to start thinking about wearing the Kodiak. As it drops below 30 degrees, you definitely want to have the Kodiak on your feet. The way this thing is woven, the loftiness on the inside of this, and this is how you tell an excellent winter sock. All these little things you see going on, all these little things that make the sock look like a sock puppet, like you've got a Muppet on your hand. All these little loops are what's gonna capture your heat. All these little loops are what is gonna create a barrier between the interior of the sock and your foot and the tight weaving on the exterior of the sock. Think of this as a styrofoam cup for your foot. That's how it's gonna retain the heat. Sure, some of the heat's gonna flash off, and it should. Some of that heat should move on to the next surface so you can heat up that surface too. But this thing is gonna keep your feet super warm, super toasty, and it's comfortable. Unlike a lot of wool socks out there, when it comes to finishing off the toe, there's usually a big heavy seam right here. Farm to feet avoid that seam completely by perfecting the way that they weave their socks. Now we get to my favorite the Fayetteville. As a technical, everyday wool sock, this thing wins. This sock just wins over all the other socks out there. Reason being is the way it's designed, the way it hugs the foot, the way it sits on your foot when you first put it on. You can feel the difference. The first time you put these on compared to anything else out there, you can feel the difference. The way it hugs the arch, the way it holds your heel. And then when you slide your foot inside your boot, the way it feels around your boot. Now, if you were breaking in a brand new pair of boots, I would say start with brand new socks. And, and if you're breaking in a brand new pair of tactical boots and you start with a pair of these Fayetteville socks, you're gonna be exceptionally happy because what you're not gonna do is you're not gonna be stretching that boot prematurely because of how tight this sock fits to your foot. It really does conform to every nook and cranny of your foot, including your toes and the ball of your foot perfectly. And it's comfortable, it doesn't bind. The top of this sock is not the type of sock that's going to bind to your leg and make you feel uncomfortable. They stay up, so if you do have to run, if you do have to chase somebody down, that whole scenario, this is the type of sock you want on your foot for those situations. So like I said, every single piece in those socks is American, from the Lycra, the nylon, to the wool, it's all American, built by American workers. So if you wanna stand behind something, this is something you should stand behind because this is something you probably have to put on every single day. So that was five socks from Farm to Feet. Hey, if you're currently wearing anything from Farm to Feet, guess what? I want you to comment below. I want you to tell us which model you're wearing and how long you've been wearing it for. And also, if you don't mind, if you're gonna tell us about which model you're wearing, please include what type of boot you wear your sock with. That's really important that guys understand how to match up the different calibers of socks to the right boot because not every sock works great with every boot. Hey, if you wanna know more about Farm to Feet or if you wanna see some of the detailed photos I took while I was shooting this video and just prepping for all this, testing out the socks, looking at the different parts of the socks, swing by to bootguy.com. I'll have all that there in a blog posting. Plus, I will have a breakdown in the chemical used in a no-fly zone boulder sock, just so you can get more information about the chemical and whether or not you wanna include it into your outdoor gear selection. Hey, please don't forget to hit my subscribe button below. You know it really helps out. Remember, if you're on Instagram or Twitter, you can follow me there all week long. I find interesting products, interesting things. I take some photos of it. I share it with you guys and we have discussions about it. Hey, if you're about to pick up some of these Farm to Feet socks and you just got a question about which sock is right for your boot, hey, feel free, shoot me over an email. All right, until the next time, I'm the Boot Guy talking about some wonderful American-made socks. Thanks a lot for watching. That's a lot of emails to hit at one time.